this lesson I want to talk about the snapping system of affinity designer you can turn it on or off very simple here if you turn the snap we have a lot of snap uh, you can activate it here uh, first thing uh, from here is enable snapping you can enable or disable it here a screen tolerance it means it's a strength of the snapping for example if you reach to for example uh, any pixel these are pixel to this range a pixel it will be a snap to the uh, object this snapping is very well because if for example we are here and the, uh, <clears throat> a snap for example to this software to this um, box uh, it, when the tolerance is very high it will be snap very uh from a higher distance and we don't want that <clears throat> it means uh, if we reach the this this uh, pixel it will be activate snapping candidates means how many actually how many object do you want to uh, be in a snapping for example five uh, and here you can show a snapping candidate with a red line <clears throat> around them I delete that uh, make it whiter to better see that for example one two three four five six and then as you can see we have these five objects are candidate for uh, snapping okay as you can see it does not uh, act um, <clears throat> It's not in a, uh, a snapping mode, just a snap to the other objects because we activate candidate. It means uh, five objects, maximum five objects uh, be in a snapping system. Other objects, not. But if you just click on one of them, you can activate, but other objects are deactivated or holding your mouse over that. Just candidate five. <clears throat> So it's not good. Uh, we make sure that in all layer, I want to snap everything to everything. And we are, uh, here we have some presets that you can activate it. This preset actually turn off or on some of, of these settings. That we don't want to use them. I like to activate all of this snapping. All of this snapping because I want to use all of them. <clears throat> okay, let's use. And I will explain these buttons. Very interesting. Uh, from um, um, from here, yeah. Only a snap to the visible object. It means, uh, for example, if uh, uh, my object is here, and I want to uh, snap it because it's visible, I will be snapped to that. You uh, you can use the snapping to all everything. For example, if you draw a pen uh, here. You can snap to points, to midpoints, to center of the object because every snap will be turned on. You can use anything in the software. This snaps using to anywhere in the software. <clears throat> but if it is invisible, as you can see, it does not snap to that because we checked only a visible. So it's very nice. Force pixel alignment and move ho by whole pixel. It's very interesting. I will explain them more, but here you can activate the pixel mode. These are vector, but it means if you want to convert it to the pixels, it looks like this. It's just changing the view. And now you can see we have the pixels here. For example, from here, we have one pixel to here, as you can see. This object just moving uh, in forcing actually here forcing the pixel alignment it means it does not uh <clears throat> move in between pixels zero one zero one this is this is very important when you want to create websites but if you come here and turn it uh, off for pixel alignment or from here you can turn it off <clears throat> you can go inter go uh, in between the pixels and it's not good at all so the force pixel is very important if you want as you can see you can 
uh, move in between pixels with this opacity. What if you turn it on? Boom. Go we'll make sure that turn it off and come back. And then it snap just one pixel. This is one pixel. So this is just for view. Turn the uh, pixel in view off. <clears throat> Another thing is a snap to the grid. I will explain the grid more, but if you come to view and <clears throat> show the grid, these are grids, you can snap to the grid. It's very interesting. You, if you draw something, you can snap to the grid, to the midpoint of the grid, intersection of the grid. Yeah, as you can see, you can snap to the grid. I will explain grid more, but here you can activate <clears throat> snap to the grid very well. A snap to the baseline grid this isn't for baseline a snap to the guides if you have a guide you can snap it to the guide for using the guide meet guy from here uh snap to the baseline of grid these are baseline <clears throat> you need to go to view a snap these are baseline and <clears throat> If you go to the view and turn off the grid and turn on the rulers from the, I will explain it more, click and drag from the rulers. You can come uh, guides in snapping to the guides. It's a snap to the guides. These are guides and you can snap to the guides. Show off the lure for that. You can just click and drag outside of your document to delete the guides. <clears throat> Uh, snap to spreads, it means these are spreads. Spreads of the document, the border of the document. You can snap to them. Or you can, for example, if you want to draw something, as you can see, it's, it's snapping to everything. Snapping to the these points, it's snapping to the. It's very nice. <clears throat> uh, another snap is very simple snap to spread midpoints it means the middle of that hmm? the middle of that for example from here you can snap to the middle a little up snap to the center of your document it's very interesting <clears throat> snap to the margin if you click outside to your document to bring document setup if you activate from here margin a number that you can activate the margin I think the margin is very, yeah, I think I have to change the color of my document. No, where is my margin? Because <clears throat> I think the margin here is very low, higher margin. Let's try that. Oh, sorry for that. Don't um forget to go into the view and activate margin now you can see the margin from here and it will be a snap to the margins also it's very seen don't forget to going to turn it off or on <clears throat> a snap to the object bounding box this is object bounding box for example i create uh, another heart you can see a box around the object that is bounding box of any object that you can draw. And it is snapping to bounding box of this object. You can see this bounding box. <clears throat> or middle, uh, midpoint of margin bounding box of any object. And a snap to the gaps and sizes, very powerful feature. If you holding Alt and holding shift to uh, changing the object distance from here to here it's remind these gaps and size and if you're holding alt holding shift you can see it will be a snap yeah holding alt yeah as you can see it's remind this distance and then another copy yeah it snaps exactly this space to re remember this space and you can continue <clears throat> and uh, snap to the shape k points these are k points so snapping everything to this po uh, a k point for example if you draw something to snap to the, this k point and you can continue another snap and a snap to the object geometry 
these borders of any geometry. As you can see, it's snapping to geometry border, geometry pixel snap to the pixel selection bounds. Uh, if we have a pixel mode, you can, as you can see, you can uh, um, snapping object to the pixels if you're moving. Hmm. If you if you want, you can activate it. Okay, so you can use a snap for all tools in uh, Affinity Designer.